the students and postdocs who are the ones who do the, the real work and the experiment. It's sort of always been that way in, in science. It's as much as it might pain me to admit it in the appropriate number of years from now when that's no longer the case for me. decided to keep to keep to keep me motivated for some reason. Soon there'll be an acceptance letter that gets posted there. There is very few positions and there is one position, I mean, that you are third or whatever, doesn't matter. You need to be first to get the position. If I wanted to stay in the field and try and move up, that's very difficult. I mean there was one professor job in the US. Um, and there's there's maybe a few in Europe. When I went to my interviews, they told me that typically they had about 100 applications for each of the jobs, and they only interview about five people. And I'm assuming at least a good 50% of those applications were like maybe viable, maybe people with good experience, etc. We have thousands looking for jobs. We had a couple thousand students on the LHC experiments at the time of the Higgs discovery. And some of these uh, students that we have now are the best I've ever seen, okay? And they're having trouble finding jobs. It's exacerbated by the fact that we have a lot of students and, and postdocs looking for jobs right now in a recession. The situation in Europe, in the US, in all the countries is not that great. So the first thing that people will cut the government is, you know, fundamental research. People are going to work in banks and actually this is how the crisis started. The economical crisis started with physicists leaving the field and going to play with other people's toy and making a mess. So. I think five people I know left the field and going to either industry or, or finance. Five of the 50 closest people I work with, so it's like 10% have left. I do have friends who've left uh, particle physics and are much happier actually having left, so... For me, it's hard to imagine a uh, life outside, but... <laughs> I'm also worried about the field. And so I would like to take the skim off the top and keep them if we can. The bad thing is that the good people are leaving. Typically, this field has a tradition of keeping the best for us. And this isn't working anymore. If in one year I don't have anything, anything in, in the field, I mean, I will do something. I mean, it was really a great time. Maybe I will find something. We never know, so, you know. This particular opportunity of having all these great physicists may vanish. This would be a great moment for a lot of institutes to look to hire people and then cut them loose, you know, give them some R&D money, see what they do. I think they could transform everything, frankly. I'm optimistic now because I got a job offer last week, right? If you had asked me like three weeks before, I was really stressed out and maybe what I would have said is really different, so...